place. I don't want to get saved. We can get started. I promised my daughter they call that and I'll be finished in 30 minutes. Okay, we're going to get started. This is what we're doing in grace, too. Not just what we're doing, we need your attention. We hold our hands up. I talked to my daughter last night. I didn't call her. I know it's the house. I said, Mr. Dad, you met me? I said, yes. He said, just tell everybody. Two or three minutes. Short speech. Two or three minutes. Three or three minutes. Kind of survive. You know, today is a great day to spread to me. We are all proud to be a part of this ceremony. To us, you, you begin to start to help. This has taken a lot of hard work, education, we are extremely happy to be here. Thank you for taking time out of your schedule to join us. So without further ado, I would like to present to you Mr. Robert Rapper, Mayor of the City of Beckham and Susan Martin. Mr. Rapper. Father, we just want to say thank you for your loving kindness, your mercy, for your amazing grace that you continue to release in the midst of our lives on a daily basis. We thank you, God, for all of the hard work and the that has gone into this particular project, for the faithful God that has been demonstrated down through the years. We thank you, Lord, for our governor. We thank you, Lord, for our mayor. We thank you, God, for our president. We pray for our leadership as a whole. We need, oh God, to continue to grant them the wisdom and the knowledge to lead us, oh God, to this pandemic. I pray, Father, that you continue to move in the midst of this state and you know, God, to continue, oh God, to bring healing to our state. For those on the front lines, of God, we pray for our medical staff. We pray for our first responders, for our military force, for our police people. And Lord, most of all, we give you the glory. We give you honor. We give you the praise. We want to say thank you, God, because this is not just any day, but this is a great day. We thank you, Lord, for how did you look down to the line of time and see this particular day come to pass. We thank you, Lord, for the original strategy for 100 years that it stood as the first black high school in Raleigh County. We thank you, Lord, for having blessed us and allowed us, O oh God, to see this time of celebration that the name of Stratton will still continue to go forward. We thank you for our superintendent, for all our educational people. I ask, O oh Lord, you continue, O oh God, to make a provision that is so much needed. We pray, God, for our children that are yet to be educated in these buildings, God, that we believe God, you're a blessing to our community. Keep us all, O oh God, in our heart, will they find you? We speak the blessings of the Lord that make a rich and have no sorrow. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Uh, uh, to bear with me for a moment, uh, I'd like to recommend members of our city council who are here, uh, Sherry Hunter, Bob Cannon, Cody Reedy, and an esteemed former member of city council, Major Chambers. 
I'd also like to say that I'm sorry, Janine Bullock, and that, that I was waiting on that. Janine Bullock is our esteemed council member from the great board of Ward 5, who today has seen the culmination of her events and heartache and pride and, and what will happen today at the beautiful school. Janine has uh, worked behind the scenes with, with, the, with the school building authority, Mr. Price, make this day possible. So uh, for that, we're very happy with you again. Thank you very much. At this time, I have a special guest. You and I have known for a long time. Uh, our conversation with us tonight. Thank you once again for being here today in the park. It is a pleasure to present Mr. Jeffrey, governor of our great state, to you. He is a man of great accomplishments. His greatest attributes are his love for his family. Captain J. Jill, your spouse, his love for young people is unconditional. He loved for the state of Mr. Jenkins. How do I know? He taught many, many hours over many, many years. How do we to help our young people? They can be a step in the right direction for the respective community. He has a tremendous vision for us that includes forces from all across the state coming together to make education. Our backbone in order for our children to be successful. He is doing his best to make this vision a reality. A reality for this community. A reality for the state of West Virginia. Everyone knows when you're dealing with young people, you have to give him the best you can possibly give him. You've got to make the plan as good as even as possible. And he's here to, to today to talk about this. The faculty, students, and the inspector community, and the Wadley County system, school system, thank you for being here today. And now I introduce Mr. Jim Justin. Thank you, man. Yeah, please say that. Please. Okay, I'm going to take this mask off. And I'm going to sit far away from you and talk. I really, I just want to talk to you again from my heart. You know, I, I look at you and I see all of you sitting in a Senate wearing masks. I know, I know just how difficult this whole situation is. This morning, imagine this, this morning I turned on the TV to see a great American, a great American that was with us and ran for President of the United States. An African American, Herman Cain, a guy that was abounded in energy like you can't imagine, a guy that achieved greatness beyond belief, became the absolute CEO of, I think, Godfather's Pizza. Unbelievable. 74 years old, and just days ago, he seemed like he was doing great. And we lost him. 74 years old, and he died. You know, this disease is a real killer, and you're doing everything you can to stop it. I'm doing everything I can to stop it. We're worried to death about what are we going to do about being able to go back to school. I see our state board president, Miller Hall. I see board members. I see senators, and I see our mayor, and I see our house members and board members, and the great Bishop Sands. I see all kinds of you here that have been the pillars of this community forever. 
Can you imagine just this? Can you imagine me having brown hair and being skinny and playing basketball right here? Can you imagine the days that I called Jack Hickman and Jack Hickman was the custodian here and Jack would let us in the gym and we would practice here? A good man. Can you imagine the days with Charlene Pryor that we worked out there with the pool that she wanted to keep open so bad? All the things that have happened right here in this great community in Beckley. Can you imagine Miller Hall being the, pre the, the principal of Woodrow Wilson and my son Jay blew his ankle out with the worst basketball injury that I have ever seen. You know, in the second day, I think, of tryouts when he was a sophomore at Woodrow Wilson. Can you imagine that principle? Jay was in a wheelchair for almost three months. And day after day after day, he'd come to school in a wheelchair. And you know who pushed him up, you know, the, the aisle and everything? That man right there. Day after day. You know, there's so much goodness right here in this great community of Beckley. You know, it's, uh, it's just unbelievable. I think about my best buddy on the planet, Mo Ball, sitting over there, and all the different things that we've done at the Beckley Little League. I wrote up on this, I had him put, put up on the, uh, the uh, concession stand when we took that over for the kids. You know, now everybody says for the kids. Then there wasn't, there wasn't that many. But really, when it really boils right down to it, you just think about really what it's all about. I see Norma Parker sitting right over here. Don Bull Parker. I graduated with him at Woodrow. I can remember being in the weight room, and he was in the weight room, and we'd walk by, and I would attack him. He was the unlimited state wrestling champion. And I would attack him. And I'll never forget, he could get me down and hold my arms like that with one hand. And I couldn't even move. He was my assistant coach for a long time. And we lost him. This community and these grounds are honored with, with our footsteps our voices of the past, every single thing that there could be about us. But let me just tell you just this. With unbelievable honor, and I can't believe all these people that have spoken have not quite mentioned this, but with unbelievable honor, you know, in the 2019 year with SBA, it was applied for, we approved it, and it started through the process, but it was behind several other projects, and we didn't have enough money to fund the elementary school, the new elementary school, right here, right in the back of Strat. Well, we've watched, and we've gone through, and we've gone through, and project after project after project comes through a little bit better off. And so instead of having to wait, Today, today, just minutes ago, the SBA approved a brand new elementary school to go right back here on this football team. There's nothing that can be bad. It's great, great, great stuff. And now we got it. Within a matter of months, we'll start building, and it absolutely could not be better. So all of them, all of them, and you have. You've all been a part of it. I congratulate you in every way. It is an unbelievable great day in West Virginia. So, the masks are tough. You know, the funerals are tough. The uncertainty is tough. What's going to happen is really tough. But we're going to get through this. West Virginia is absolutely leading the way, and we are the miracle. We are the miracle that everybody across this nation is envious of. 
but it's still tough. And it's still sad. Keep doing the great work you're doing. Keep loving your community like nobody's business. You know, I see Cordy, I see it's Miss Chambers, right? Think about her. Unbelievable. And you're just as beautiful as you've always been, too. Let me do one other thing. I want to I want to introduce, and I'll have him stand over there. But Jeffrey Miller has just been appointed, just been recognized. He's going to be heading up our new parkways and everything, and he's going to do a great job too. Jeff, you've got to watch this. It's Greg Barr, who's been doing it forever and just leaving, is just retiring and everything. Greg Barr just got tested positive for COVID. Now, and I rolled into my office yesterday, and a couple of our people have just been with Greg, and so they're off getting tests and everything else under the sun. So the long and short of it is we got to watch. We've got to really watch. Especially if you're a little chunky like me. And you've got a little bit of white hair like Rob and I both have. We've got to really watch. And I see you backing up. That's a good time. <laughs> so listen, I couldn't be any happier. Really, it's a great day in West Virginia. And uh, you can't imagine the number of times that I've parked here and walked in here with Jack Hickman. And I've played basketball games for myself. I've absolutely coached in here myself. Absolutely, I've been with my kids in here so many different times, it's unbelievable. Absolutely, this institution is just, uh, will be with us now forever and ever and ever because we'll have a brand new deal right out back and hope and pray that so many kids will get the benefit of a wonderful new school. So anyway, God bless all of you. Thank you for having me. I'm, I'm leaving because I don't want to get around here. Thanks. 
and I want to thank our the school building authority for recognizing the importance of this project. Miller Hall, Dave Perry, part of that. Uh, we appreciate your support. Again, like I said, the board, their vision to make this happen. It's an exciting day. I thank all of you for being here. Governor, thank you for being a part of this. And uh, appreciate all you do. I know it's not a very busy time for any of us right now. So thank you for all you do. Again, congratulations for all the county schools. Congratulations, East Beckley and the kids of this community. What I would like to do at this time is introduce the five board members we have here with us. President Larry Ford. Please stand, Mr. Ford. <laughs> Vice President of Royal County Board of Education, Mr. Gordy Root. <laughs> board members Rick Snuffer. <laughs> Marie Henry. <laughs> and Dr. Charlotte Hutchins. I want to thank each of you again for your vision to make this happen and the great things that are going on in our community. So, thank you. Thanks for being Rice. At this time, Councilwoman Ward Fife, please go on. Go on, please. Here we go. This is yours, Ward. This is your day.
and we give you recognition. As the Stratton alma mater by D.D. Crawford says, Dear old Stratton, dear old Stratton, tis for you we'll fight with all of our might. Come on, Sister Major Chambers. Come on up. You're next. Councilwoman, former Councilwoman of Ward 5. Thank you all.
God, we ask, Lord God, your blessings upon the workers of the yet to come in the future. Your workers, oh Lord, and for those going to be involved, we pray, God, your blessings upon the principal and the staff here, Ray Stratton Elementary. Keep us all, oh God, according to your divine will. I pray, God, you continue to move in the state of West Virginia that this coronavirus will be eradicated from our state. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, thank you for coming. That concludes our program.